fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. the brave could face the dangers of the early western United States, and throughout the new territory none could match the courage of the masked rider of the plains. He led the fight for justice over overwhelming odds. He united the settlers against outlaws and hostile Indians. It was he more than any other man who brought law and order to the lawless frontier. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the west was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. We're heading for Wild Fern. Tunnel's waiting for us. Tunnel Silver. Away! The Lone Ranger and Tonto had reined up in a grove of cottonwoods about 20 miles from the little town of Wild Fern. The masked man had lifted the saddle from Silver's back and was preparing to rub him down when the great stallion broke away. Steady there, boy. Did you see that, Tonto? Oh, him act plenty funny. He's trembling. What's the matter, Silver? Don't you want to rub down tonight? No, him stand all right. I think I'll take a look at his shoes. He may have a stone wedged in his hoof or... <coughs> Easy, boy. Him not act like that afore. Steady, fellow. It's plenty funny. There's nothing wrong with his hoof or the shoe. He isn't lame. I can't understand it. Him tired, maybe. This moon and moon afore, we ride many miles. That may be it. We have been covering a lot of ground, and... Toto, there's one thing I've noticed. I wonder if it means anything. What's that? Whenever we ride toward the west, he seems to be ready and willing. If our trail lies to the east, it's hard to keep him headed in the right direction. Him look to west now? Yes, if it weren't for my command, I think he'd break away and race across the plain. Oh, him not leave you. You know what lies to the west. Wild Fern, not far. Hundreds of miles beyond Wild Fern. And that where Mustang Mag have ranch. Even beyond their ranch. Oh, there, valley where, where you find Silver. His home, the place where he was born. Could it be that he wants his freedom? You want to leave me, boy? <laughs> him nuzzle you. Him not want to leave you. We're partners, aren't we, fella? But still, there's something wrong. It must be that he needs a rest. We'll see that you have it, Silver. What you mean? We'll head for Mag's ranch, and when we get there, we'll turn Silver loose on the range. And that plenty good idea. You've earned a rest, old boy, and you'll... Tonto. What matter? The sun went down an hour ago. That red glare in the sky. It's not from sun. It's fire. And that's just about where Wild Fern is. Maybe Indian. Plenty Apache around here. Saddle up. Huh? Sorry, Silver. You've got your rest. There's work to be done tonight. Might be that band we heard about at Diamond Falls, Tonto. Uh, Half-breed lead them. They race them to town after dark, set fire to a few places. And when the settlers run to the church, the schoolhouse, they loot their homes. Oh, Half-breed smart. Are you ready? Uh, get him up, Scout. Come on, Silver. <laughs>
And meanwhile, in the little town of Wildfern. Engines! Savages! They're in the town. I'll get the rifles. Look, look out there. More fire arrows. Engines, they're coming! The hand replace is done for. Hey! Hey! Open up! Let us in! Open the door, Mary. It's Steve and Jake. Take the south window, Steve. Let him have it. Don't close the door yet. Hanford's coming right behind us. Here he comes. Hanford's place is going up in smoke, Bates. I've seen it. Shut the door. Shut the door behind me and lock it. we got to keep those savages out of here. What window will I take, Bates? That one. And keep the lead flying. All right, come on. Boys. It's hard to see by the moon, but... It is. Masked man and an engine. I'll give them what, sir. Lower that gun. Rain up or I'll blow you into kingdom come. You don't need that. We're friends. Friends? None of the men are left around here, but I can handle skunks like you. What do you mean, none of the men are left? They're riding after the rest of your gang, and they'll bring them back, too. Now get out of your saddles and reach for the sky. You make big mistake. This Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger? Ah, we want to help you. Oh, mister, then ride after the boys and help them bring those crooks in. Which way'd they go? Straight out of town to the west. Come on, Silver. Hit them up, scout. Manner, Kimosabi. Look at the trail. There's something strange here. Ah, plenty horse turn off trail. Plenty more go straight on. Could it be that the Indians turned off and the posse didn't catch the sign? No, Indian pony go on. And the posse turned aside. Ah. There's only one explanation for that. Them take cover to right. They could have seen us coming from this ridge. And wait for us. Them think us outlaw, maybe. Steady, boy. Silver not want to stay. It better we ride on ahead of posse. Follow Indian ourselves, huh? Not until I've had a talk with our leader. Stay where you are. Don't make a move. Here they come. Oh, 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 oh. Keep guns on them, boys. Hey, but who are them? One's a redskin. Where's the rest of the pack? The masked man's the leader right enough. There was a mob of them in town. Let's take the two and string them up. Take it easy. Let Bates do the talking. So you're the leader of the posse, Bates? Yeah. And I reckon you led the raid on Wildfern. We were 20 miles away. That's a likely story. They're the ones, all right. We heard there was a white man leading the Redskins. Well, there he is. Bates. Well? You're mistaken. We were camped 20 miles to the east of Wildfern. We'd heard about the band of Indians with a breed for a leader. And when we saw the glare in the sky, we knew what was happening. I'll say you did. It was right there. We rode to town as fast as we could. But, of course, the raid was all over when we got there. We followed your trail this far, and... That's and then... all the farther you're getting. We had nothing to do with the raid. There'll be no more wasting time with words. Take off your mask and guns and go ahead of us to town. We'll give you a fair trial before you're hung. Bates, I'm not going to take off my mask or guns. No? And we're not going back to town with you. We're going to try and run down that pack of savages. You aren't the only ones who have suffered at their hands. There have been lots of other people. That's their trail ahead of us, and we're going to follow it. Not while I still got a gun in my hand. You must have seen us coming up the trail. We just came from town. We couldn't be part of the gang. I thought you'd bring that up sooner or later. What? Your smart tricks aren't going to do you any good. We figured it all out while we was waiting for you. Figured out what? You left town with the engines, but you cut away from the trail after a while and waited for us to get past you. Then you were going to catch up with us and offer to help catch the gang. That's exactly what we want to do. Yeah? And if we followed your lead, we'd never catch them. We're not asking to lead you. Go ahead, follow the trail. A bird in the hand's worth two in the bush. By the same token, two crooks captured are better than a dozen that ain't. Now your guns and be quick. If my guns are drawn, they'll be used to blast a weapon from any man who starts to squeeze a trigger. Big talk from a man that's facing half a dozen shooting irons. Tato and I are leaving here to follow the trail. Tato knows and understands the savages. Perhaps you'll find some way to outwit their leader. Hand over your guns or we'll open fire. Sorry, Bates. Perhaps I'll need you and your men before we're finished. I don't want to be looked on as an enemy. Take his gun, Steve. I hear you not shoot. Don't come closer, Steve. Super nervous. Reach for your gun and you'll take lead between the eyes. Keep the redskin covered, Hanford. I am. Get back, Steve. All right, you're asking for this, mister. I'm sorry. My gun hand, my hand is smashed. Great Scott, did you see that lightning draw? The rest of you keep back. Come, Tonto. Shoot him, drill the critter, he smashed my hand. The bullet never touched your hand, only your gun. Wait. See you again, Bates. Get him up, Scout. Pile silver. Fire. Give me a gun, I'll drill him. Hold it, don't fire. He's getting away. Quiet. Didn't you hear him call his horse Silver? Great land of Goshen, that man's the Lone Ranger. Well, Lone Ranger. 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 I never saw a dry clap before. I didn't even see his gun come up at us that fast. Now what do we do, Bates? Follow the trail, that's all we can do. Follow the trail and see where it takes us. All right, come on. <laughs> An hour before dawn, the Lone Ranger and Tonto reined up at the top of a ridge and watched the faint glow of a campfire, almost hidden by the trees below them. 
It's our camp, all right. Men not stay there long. We'll get as close as we can. <laughs> Quiet, boy. But with Silver acting the way he is, the horse had better stay here. Ah. I think I'm going to hobble him. Not good. You tie rope to leg. Then we get close to camp and try to find out what breed and Indian do now. Yes. We're on our own, Tonto. The posse's a long way behind us. <laughs> I'll take care of cashing the loot, Black Hawk. But not until the right time comes. And we're going to keep traveling for a while. Uh. We're going to find something worth more than all the jewelry and money in that bag. What do you mean? A horse. We got plenty of horses. Oh, not like this one. The old engine from the mountains told me about him. Uh? Just a colt. Running wild in a mountain valley. Pure white with a black star in the forehead. Engines say faster than Lone Ranger Silver. Mm, cold like that worth plenty of money. Ah, uh, fortune. He's gonna belong to us. We break camp now. Move plenty fast. Uh, the faster the better for me. There they go, Tonto. Heading west. We've got to find some way to stop them until the posse can catch up. Uh-huh. Our plan might work. But we'll have to get ahead of them to try it. Not easy. When Silver head west, him go like wind. You'll have his chance. Come on, boy. Get off, Scout. Tell your men to keep back, keep quiet, Hawk. Uh, Marnago. Mask man and engine. Yeah, they're bearing something, huh? Black Hawk, see. Them saddlebags. Yeah. Yeah, they're crooks. They're bearing their loot just like we did back away, huh? Why we not catch them? Get money for us. Well, we don't have to fight for it. They leave it there. Hey, hey see. Mask man getting on his horse. Ah, beauty, ain't it? Mm. But if that cold's anything like... Hey, there he goes. Hey, guess the redskin's gonna stay. Not wait here long. You're right. Better close in on him. We tell men. Now I wait. I'll go out first, acting like I'm Pilgrim. Get him off guard so he can't reach for his guns. You stay here, the rest of the men, Black Hawk. I'll signal when you're to come. Yeah, fetch my horse with you. Mm, we wait. I'll go out where you can see me now. Hi there. Who come? Me. Pilgrim lost my way. Yeah, sure sight, sore eyes find anything look like human. <laughs> Maybe you can tell me how to get to civilization, eh? Well, you pine town. Long way to south. Uh, south. What town is it? It called Never mind a... answering. Just don't reach for guns. Come on, Hawk. Oh, what this? What do you want, you little oh, scamp? Oh. Take his guns, Hawk. You two, dig up what he's buried. We'll see what it is. Uh, what you want? Hey, you're traveling with us, Redskin. We've seen you with that mask, hombre. We hanker to know what you two hid, your loot. Ain't room around here for two gangs, and my outfit is the one that's going to stay. Here, bags. Open them up. Let's see what's in them. Are you not find anything there? Keep close watch on the redskin. We don't want to take no chances of letting him get away. Here, what in saddlebag? Your papers. Yeah, hey, let me see this. Maps, drawings, eh? Well, this here calls for some talk on the redskin's part. Take him with us. We'll listen to what he has to say. Maybe if he's willing to help us out, he'll see another sunset. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
continue our story. The men from Wild Fern, following the trail of Breed Conway and his renegades, found that it led through a stretch of woods. Bates, I've noticed something about this trail I don't like. What's that, Steve? This here trail the Redskins made started out as a solid path. It was easy to follow. It ain't easy now. That's just what I was getting at. You know what them foxy critters have done? What? They had one of the men drop out of the trail and sneak off into the woods. Then a little later, they had another one do the same, and then another. One at a time, they left the trail and shoved off to the side. Till now, by thunder, I'll bet we ain't found the track of more than one or two of them. So that's it. Yeah. The ornery critters that snuck off to one side have disappeared. Likely they'll join up with each other at some secret hiding place. I always heard this outfit was a sly pack of wolves. The ornery murdering pole cats. Here we spent half the day for nothing. Yeah, ain't no use going on. I reckon there ain't, Steve. We may as well turn back home. The sooner we get there, the sooner we'll be able to start rebuilding the houses that was burned down. I'd sure give a lot to catch up with them coyotes. Who wouldn't? Hold on. I hear hoofs. Yeah? What direction? That way. Where I'm pointing. Come on, Silver! It's him. The masked man coming back this way. There he comes. Look at that horse travel. If we had horse flesh like that, we might have a chance of locating these killing redskins. I got the drop on you, men. I want to talk, but I'll not be captured. It's all right, Lone Ranger. We know who you are now. Why didn't you tell us in the first place? I didn't think you would have heard about me. Not heard? <laughs> That's something to laugh about, even though I don't feel like laughing. Not heard of the Lone Ranger? Man, I'm glad you know that I'm on your side. I thought I might have to make you chase me to get you where you're needed. Where? North of here, a long ride to the north. The Redskins? If you come with me, I think there'll be a chance to get them. For that chance, as slim as it might be, I'd ride from here to Kingdom Come. Me too. We're with you. Only don't let that white stallion out to full speed. We can't keep up with you. Lead the way, Lone Ranger. Come on, Silver. 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 Later, the Lone Ranger and the Townsmen arrived at the place where Tonto had been left. They found the saddlebags gone and no sign of human life around. Well, here we are. And where are we? Well, they've been here. Tonto was right. They did watch us. Where's your friend now? I think Tonto has been captured. By those killing Apaches? Yes. They'll do for him. That's what I was afraid of when I left Tonto there alone. But he seemed to think he could handle the situation. Which way'd they go? I don't know. This ground don't hold tracks at all. Too stony. Ain't Tonto left sign of any sort to give you a lead? I thought he would, but he hasn't. They didn't give him a chance. Well, now what do we do? The only thing we can do is wait and count on Tonto. Further to the north, Breed Conway and his Indians came to a halt in their camp. They cut the ropes that had lashed Tonto to the saddle. All right, Redskins, stand down now. We'll have a dog, huh? Uh, what? What you want? Hey, this here note was in the saddlebag. Say something about a lot of easy money you can be had for the taking. What about that? I like no where's all that easy money be had for the taking. No, me, not talk. Uh, don't be too quick to say that, Injun. We got plenty way of loosening up stubborn tongues. Me not talk. Look, Injun. That there redskin named Blackhawk. Maybe you heard of him, huh? He said to be about the cruelest gent that ever lived. There ain't nothing too painful for him to watch and enjoy seeing. Oh, me not afraid of torture. No? Huh? Well, maybe that ain't gonna be necessary. Maybe you like throw in with us, huh? You tell us where cash is at, we'll see that you don't regret it. Then friend with mask, shoot. Him get plenty mad at Tonto. Tonto, uh, that your name? Not right. And maybe a friend with a mask would never get a chance to get mad at you. If we was on your side, we uh, could get him out of the way. Mm, maybe. What you say, Tonto? You like plenty cash now, wouldn't you? Mm, money not good. Not good? It don't make sense. I don't know of anything better than money. Money good only to spend. Buy things. Tonto go spend money. Lawman capture Tonto. I see. You figure that you not be able to spend cash if you had it, eh? Not right. But what'd you spend it for? Oh, Tonto want other thing. Not cash. What other thing? Other thing like settler got. Ring for finger, jewel for neck. Good medicine, good rifle, good knife. Plenty horse. Hey, Savvy, you want things cash will buy. Well, you step right over here. I'll show you what we'll give you. Black Hawk, roll back the rock there. Mm. <clears throat> Take a look there. Oh, 
You'll get that if you tell me what I want to know. Then you can be one of my outfit. How does that sound? Mm, Tonto, think. Think it over. What's the matter with you, Blackhawk? You come. Me talk. Well, what's the grumble about? You give Redskin enemy all thing we own. Take it easy. I promise him anything to get him to tell what I want. And after I get the information, I don't have to give it to him. You let Blackhawk take care of enemy? Sure. As soon as he tells where the cash is, I don't care what you do with him. That better. Well, Tano, what do you say? No, that's not enough. What? You not got enough good medicine. You mean you want more than there is in that there box? Uh, that's all right. You keep it. Meaning you don't figure to tell me what I want to know. Um, me think. Me think it over. Well, you think it over. But don't spend too much time on it. Uh, me think it over. Tonto postponed making any decision until the sun had set and darkness had fallen. He now knew where the gang hid the stolen goods. But that was not all he hoped to accomplish. We waited long enough, Redskin. You figure on joining us and telling what you know or not? Me not tell. What? Me not tell. Oh, so you got to have your tongue loosened up, eh? Well, there's ways of doing that. Blackhawk is a good pile of quick-burning wood there. Maybe you'd like to find out how hot fire can be. Oh, me not afraid. Touch her off, Blackhawk. That good. Manita, start fire! I'll show you that you don't get far trying to cross me, Tonto. Oh, little fire not hurt, Tonto. Oh, little fire, eh? Well, it may be big one, will be better. Throw more wood on the fire. Fire start good. Maybe you let Tonto think more, huh? Oh, now you want to think it over some more. You show good medicine again. Jewel, ring, rifle. It's too late. Now you're going to talk and get nothing for it. Nothing but a chance to escape. Don't talk and you'll eat them flames. It take long time to tell where easy money is. And the sooner you talk, the better. Uh how to tell. Tell by and by. You tell now, Blackhawk. Keep that fire going so he'll be ready in case this creature changes his mind again. Keep huh? fire he big. <laughs> Me tell. Long time ago, Heller come to West. Him plenty bad. Everyone bad. Tonto began a long story about the first reward that was paid for the capture of a bad man in the West. He stretched the story with many explanations, while Breed Conway and the Indians listened impatiently. Come on, get to the point of what you're saying. Me tell story, you listen. Tonto paused frequently and spoke slowly. When the flames of the fire died down, Black Hawk threw in fresh fuel so the threat of torture would be as great as ever. Finally, when he could stall no longer... Tonto reached the point of the story. Reward offered now for plenty bad men. Big reward for Breed Conway and big reward for Black Hawk. Other reward for other bad engine the gang. Hold on. You mean to say the easy money is made up of rewards? That's right. And it is us that you figure to capture for the rewards. Uh, Black Hawk fix them. More wood on fire. Build up fire heap big. More wood. I should have known better than to waste a lot of time listening to you. No, we got to do what we should have done in the first place. Get ropes on him. Me, Fix. You wait. There's nothing more you need to say, Tano. You're done for. Reed, you fool. Me not done for. You done for. You and whole gang. Big talk. You show Tonto where stolen things hid. Now Tonto know where jewels, gun, money, everything you steal hidden. A lot of good it'll do you. Friend, come here plenty quick. You see? No one ever yet has been able to trail us down. You forget. You make big signal fire. Uh, signal fire? That's right. Tonto's friend, watch for fire. Him come here plenty quick now. I'll fix you. Blackhawk, never mind if I put it out, throw dirt on it. I'll do for this crater with a shooting iron. Come on, Silver. You hear? Friend, come now. Him see fire. Him come fast. Blackhawk, have your men spread out. Watch for anyone coming to help the prisoner. We watch them. There come Ryder. Here, Scout. Look out. Get him, Scout. Wild horse. Come on, Silver. Let the big fellow. Drop him. Keep the mask, man. Not so fast. Cut them, Silver. Get him, Scout. Horse wild. Look out for horse. Shoot the critters. What is the matter with you? Oh, you don't read. Not so fast. Oh, my hand. My hand is smashed. He thinks hot. The rest of you stand back there and get your hands up. Hurry. Ah. You too, Black Hawk. Come on, Bates. We have them. Why didn't you wait for us? He's already got him licked. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. 
Why are you not bring an army to get us? You might well have. We brought the men from Wild Fern, Breed. You should have waited for us, mister, instead of doing this alone. I wasn't alone. Tata was here. As soon as he heard me, he shouted to his horse. Scout kept the outlaws busy so I could close in and cut Tano's ropes. Bates, it sure as fun it looks like the two of them was all it took to wipe up this pack. You all right, Tato? <laughs> Me all right. Did you learn where they'd hid the stolen goods? All there in box under big stone. Oh, my wrist is busted. Ain't anyone going to do something for it? It'll be bandaged, Breed. But I don't think you'll live long enough for it to heal. There's a hangman's rope waiting for you. Uh, in a jail, Bill can hold me. These Indians ain't all I know. I got plenty of friends. You'll be smart to let me go, mister. Jail me and see what happens. We'll take that chance, Breed. Any friends that come to rescue you will find a hearty welcome waiting for them. Uh, here, all stolen things. Good for you, Tom. Hi, oh. Juniper, the Indian scheme sure worked out slick. But tell us, mister, what would we have done if these killers hadn't built a fire so as we could see it and know where they was? <laughs> Tonto sure bad Injun Bill fire. Yes, and he was sure he could find some way to make them threaten him with torture. Just as we were sure the savages would watch us if we buried something in the Badlands. Take over, Bates. Roping, boys. We'll march them back to town. Come on. Hey. Now, Tonto, to head for Mustang Mags. Silver's more than ever in need of a good rest. A good long rest. Uh-huh. We go. Get him up, Scout. Come on, Silver. Him still want to go fast. Yes. You ride to West. Silver gold like wind. There's something calling to him out there, urging him on. Danger, maybe. There's something we can understand. Tonto wonder. So do I. Come on, old boy. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.